Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ima Billions Yesai. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. And um, I want to welcome all the new subscribers and I want to say thank you so much for supporting this channel. And I want to give a very big shout out to um, the active subscribers. You know, there are people who always comment on my videos. I want to say God bless you guys. And hey, if today is your first time watching any of my videos, I want to say welcome and you know please feel free to hit the subscription button to join this crazy community okay so on this channel we educate or i educate people about life in russia i also um do um social experiment and i also react to russian songs you know there are a lot of crazy stuff here you know when i travel out of the country but also if i travel to other countries and um, I visit any interesting place I record and put it out here for you guys to also enjoy so basically that is my channel now do not be offended if you subscribe to this channel because of the music reactions or even street experiment or my traveling um, experiences all right um, this video is actually here to, to educate people about life in Russia and of course before um, I started this um, reaction you know music reaction and uh, street experiment and other things i had the motive to educate people about life in russia especially foreign students okay and as i disclosed in my first video i think on the, tw on the first of january the plan for um, um for this content in this year i decided to highlight you uh, or give you insights as to what I'll be drawing this year so do not be offended if you you don't get this video like you subscribe and now you are seeing you know study in Russia or something like that all right so okay so in this video I'm, I want to talk about um, I want to answer a question okay I want to answer a question um, that's one of my um, my you know okay let me say a client or someone asked me okay and of course um, this question people have been asking me you know from time to time and I believe that it's gonna be good if or it's gonna be advisable if I just do a video on it and I put it on there on, the, on this platform so anytime someone asks me I can just redirect them or send in the link all right and I think it's, it will be useful okay so the person want to the person okay I'll be coming to this university uh, when borders are open and I want to know how living how Moscow living is okay that is the first question and second uh, second question is um, I also want to know the average budget um, for every month for students okay so the first one Moscow life and the, the, the second one is budget okay monthly budget okay and then the third one um, availability of job okay I do not want this video to be so long all right because um if i decide to talk about this it's going to take a long time and all of you you know you can bear with me that i don't do scripted you know videos or content i just flow you know whatever comes into my mind if i find it you know useful i just put it here so i have decided to talk about the first question in this particular video and i'll make a second video which will talk about the budget and the third video which will talk about uh, availability of job you know so the first video um the first question is how um is uh, how living in moscow is so how living in moscow is for foreigners okay for foreigners i'm talking about foreign students alone okay so first of all i will say that um living in moscow isn't bad and I would also say it's very good. Um, well, you know, there are a lot of factors that goes into this, okay? Now, when we talk about um, um, that, when we talk about um, accommodation, all right? Um, now, if you are not a student, it's, it's a whole new thing, but if you're a student, it's just on another level. So accommodation, I believe it's, it's already taken care of life you know in the hostel is quite interesting and um it's interesting when you live in you know a hostel full of foreign students okay but when you live in a hostel where um uh, you know majority of the, the the people there are native sometimes it's quite boring because 
they are not very open to uh, communicate or they are not very free to uh, engage in any conversation with the foreigner because they have the perception that foreigners don't understand Russian and they the natives don't speak English so mostly um, they prefer to respect their own you know space you know no one want to talk to this they, they would just be there because I have been in a hostel where uh, it took me a while to even talk to my neighbor even though I could speak Russian that time just a, a little bit but they weren't very open to talk to me and I've lived in a hostel where my roommate even didn't want to talk to me for a very long time you understand so in terms of hostel accommodation it depends on the university and um their okay and um, and the states okay but in general moscow yeah people are very free and open and the interesting thing is that people don't even regard moscow to be russia because um, this is the business center of, of Russia and a lot of uh, foreigners come in and out so the natives here they have already experienced foreign uh, you know um, international um, affair global you know affair so they already know black people or people of color you understand and most of them speak English you know most people speak English so it is actually normal for them to see a foreigner around okay so um first of all let me say life uh, accommodation in the uh, life in the hostel is is quite um that's that it's normal depending on where you will be so if you live in a hostel full of foreigners i think you will really enjoy it because you're all foreigners and there are some hostels that uh, i think m most of the people most of the students are natives and with that even though they want to talk to you because of communication barrier, they will not be so open to engage in a conversation with you. And on the street, people will, will, will some, some not, you know, I think there are more cases that they don't even look at you. Okay, because as I said, there are a lot of foreigners who come in and out of Moscow. So, you know, it, it's not a new thing, you know, as compared to if you are in the um, smaller cities. Okay, so in Moscow, Nobody cares about you. Like, serious, nobody cares about you. Unless you look very handsome or you've dressed well, you like you look, your appearance is so dope. That's why sometimes when you walk on the street, there's some girls who will be admiring you and there are some men who will be looking at you. Not. But in general, um, they don't stare at you because of, um, uh, not in a bad way, but maybe they admire you and they want to talk to you, okay? So me, sometimes when I'm in the metro or something, if someone keeps staring at me, I just give the person eye, you know, one eye, like, you know, uh, and then, you know, I just smile and then leave, you understand? So, um, life in Moscow is cool. Now, let me talk about um, cost of living, okay? Cost of living here is very expensive. Not very expensive, but it's expensive as compared to other states. Um, especially if you're a foreigner, you have to, um, you don't know the language very well, right, you know, at the initial stage of your stay here, definitely you're going to waste money on unnecessary things, you understand? Um, so life here is quite, you know, um, expensive a little bit, but I believe that it's not so expensive if you decide to manage or live below your standard, okay? So, um don't don't be near preachify don't worry don't think that it's very expensive that you cannot afford i believe you cannot it's very cool life here is cool and if you want to spend money definitely you are the one who is going to spend man, man, much money but if you don't want to spend i believe you won't spend all right um so let's talk about people russians who smile or don't smile okay so uh life in, you know russians in general are not regarded as people who express you know their inner happiness um facially all right they are very calm like they are they have a strict face most of them so you might think that they are not happy or they are very strict or they don't smile but you know if you want to really really see russians at their best come here in the summer all right because the weather is good and there are a lot of recreational activities on the streets like people displaying artworks, people showing their talents. There are so many 
um, salsa joints, you know, when you go to the park, there are numerous activities and everybody's smiling. So Russia is like Moscow, sorry, Moscow is so, 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 so lively when it's in the summer. But in the cold, sometimes you might, see, you know, you might experience something else because um, the weather is so cold. Just imagine last two days it was negative 25 degrees in Moscow. No, 26 degrees. And it was so cold, you understand? So I believe that if you're experiencing that, you will not expect the person to be smiling. All right. So um, that is also one point. Um, and, I, and one thing I also want to share is that, you know, bear in mind that black people or, you know, um, yeah, foreigners, especially black people also enjoy some privileges that even the natives don't enjoy because most Russians know that, come on, the only way a foreigner can get into Russia is to go through the right process. So there are so many things that, you know, Russians don't really pay much attention to. Uh, but of course the security is tight. Okay. So let, this has taken me to the next stage. Uh, security in Russia, you know, I believe that when you travel out of the country and to further education, um, especially if you live out of the confinement of your parents, you know, um, security and health is very important, all right. And these are two things that Russians don't take it for granted. So, if you're a foreigner, you know, like your hostel, there are see cameras everywhere, even on the street in Moscow, yeah, there are cameras everywhere, okay. So, the security level is so 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 high. Right, which makes the country or the, the, the state very comfortable for foreigners to live in, okay. And, um, yeah, I also want to talk about you know, um, Moscow is very cold, and um, like in general, Russia is a cold country, you know. So, um, I believe that um, uh, foreigners here, you know, black people, I think we, uh, we have a very, very strong body, I don't know if it is. Uh, scientifically or biologically proven but I believe our body is very tough you know it's able to stand the weather but um, you know it's cold here it's very very cold here and you have to have um, winter jackets big boots you know there's not the stage you know during the winter we don't we don't we don't show fashion here like we don't do any you know we have to dress like a snow white man you know <laughs> <laughs> or a snow white man or black man, you know, snowman, you know, with big boots, you know, big, you know, um, hoodies, you know, the palto, your jacket should be so big, you know, so that you, you don't really feel cold because, you know, it's actually very, 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 very cold. You know, during the winter, it's so cold, like sub zero cold. But um, I would say racism in Russia isn't something to talk about because, come on. I have been here for um, almost uh, yeah three years. I'm um, soon I'll be like four fourth year here, and I haven't really experienced any form of racism. So um, people who say Russians are racism, I wonder where they experience that. Yes, of course. Before coming here, I also did a lot of research, thinking about okay, are Russians really racist? What do they do? Like you know, killing. Uh, racism, I went on, you know, YouTube, Google, you know, racism in Russia, how many people have Russians killed, how many black people have, how do Russians treat black people, and, you know, trust me, trust me, it never exists, okay, so, it exists, of course, you know, there are some, few, there are people who, who are stupid, you know, so, they, they want to, you know, I remember I did a video, and I was, um, I'm, I don't really recall the exact video, but this person came in, to say something shit about me, all right? And trust me, the lot of attacks he that that subscriber or that viewer got, you know, from the from the Russians themselves, it was impressive. That is why I prefer to do YouTube video because I get positive vibes from the from the Russian. And thanks to technology, they watch foreign videos, they watch foreign movies. You know, technology you come here and be watching what is going on in a, a different country. So I believe that that stage where we can both confidently say that Russians are racist has passed. It's gone. You understand? But there are still things that are yet to be done. All right. So. Basically, I would say that, hey, do not be worried or do not be frightened to come to Russia. Russia is a cool country, uh, quiet people, you know, I love Russia because nobody disturbs me. I enjoy my peace of mind, you understand? So, if you want to come and study here, come on, come and study. Life here is cool. For foreigners, you have a lot of discounts. You can visit um, tourist places, you can, 
uh, pay transport card, you know, uh, at a very cheaper rate because you're a student. Um, you can have time to mingle and, you know, really um, engage or learn more about Russian culture. And you might have, you know, meet, yeah, I don't know, but I believe life here is cool. So don't worry, guys. Do not worry. Russia is a very cool country for you to for the education. And don't worry about racism you will be disappointed if you think about racism in russia okay so guys so this is what i have for you pertaining to life um living in russia okay so if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up like this video subscribe and um share okay now um this is just one video for one question okay this is the answer to that question I know I stand to be corrected because come on I'm not I only you know uh, respond to this question but you know based on my own experience in Russia okay I stand to be corrected if maybe I say some shit or something crazy that uh, it is not true entirely true you can leave it in the comments below come on I uh, just you know I'm just trying to help someone all right so you can also you know leave your you know comment you know contribution in the comments below and um, it will help someone okay so guys thank you very much don't forget to watch the next video because I'm going to answer the question pertaining to the budget all right so see you in our next video it's in my yes yes I see ya bye bye